GHBC Channel 15 News with Sharifa Daniels reporting. We are reporting live at the Ultimate Competition during halftime. Today we have with us two of Team Hope's most valuable players, Andre Hines and Kiersey Joseph. Can't you feel the excitement in the air? Good evening, ladies. Andre, let's start with you. In Team Hope's highlights, it was quite obvious that Operation Care Package was a huge ministry project. How did the Evangelism Facet manage to complete such a project when so many people are facing financial difficulties and are still concerned about their health and safety due to the coronavirus pandemic? Well, here at the Good Hope Church, we have been taught that as servants of God, we're not only to love and pray for our neighbor, but we ought to meet their needs. And in that way, we display God's love. The word teaches us that if we sow sparingly, we'll reap sparingly. But if we sow bountifully, we will reap bountifully. Pastor Carter, along with our awesome health ministry and our superb custodial staff, make sure that we are safe. We have never had an outbreak. There are hand sanitizers everywhere you turn, masks, you can't come in without them, and we do social distance. Isaiah 41.10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is sovereign and in absolute control. We not only love him, but we trust him. That is amazing, and God definitely keeps his promises. Kiersey, in Team Hope's highlights, you actively participated in Operation Care Package, and other evangelism projects. Why did you decide to persevere past your fears and continue serving in ministry in the midst of this pandemic? Um, just because the world shut down doesn't mean that God's word should not continue. <clears throat> Excuse me, Matthew 28, 19a says that we're supposed to go ye therefore. We have to continue doing what God has called us to do. We have to set aside our own fears and continue to spread God's word. <laughs> that is so true. Thank you for that, Kiersey. Um, Now, Andre, there are maybe people in our viewing audience who don't know who Jesus is and what he has done for us. What would you say to them? Well, because God loves us so much and his infinite love and his awesome love, he sacrificed his only begotten son for us. He allowed Jesus to suffer, bleed, and die for us so we can have eternal life with him. We are sinners. It started with Adam and Eve, and we were in need of a savior, which was Jesus. And that gives us the eternal life that we need. Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection assures us that if we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we will not only have eternal security, but we will have a quality of life here on earth. John 11:25 says, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. God's word is so true. It must be such an awesome and invaluable experience to share the gospel and meet the needs of others. How can people connect with the evangelism facet, Kiersey, to become more involved in not only sharing the gospel, but meeting the needs, because we know that that was a pattern that Jesus followed. It was part of his methodology to meet the needs of people before he taught them. And what's next for this great ministry? Um, first off, the uh, Evangelism Facet meets the first Monday of every month on Zoom for now, and we are continuing to um, study God's word and we're continuing to go forth and stuff. And so that um, we have several projects that's in the works, especially um, continuing to meet the needs of the community. We're partnering with J.W. Falk Elementary where we're providing, trying to gather school uniforms and provide headphones. Mm -hmm. And we're also continuing to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, continuing to acknowledge the domestic violence in the community and stuff where we're pro um, working with the Faith House and stuff and we're collecting supplies and stuff to donate to the Faith House as well. Those are very exciting projects on the horizon. Good Hope family, we are so excited that we can gather together again. Um, 
as you can see, we have all been immobilized to some degree by the COVID-19 pandemic. However, it is time to get off the sidelines, get back in the game, get engaged, get re-energized, and let's continue the work of God's kingdom. Now, let's get back to the game. This has been GHBC News 15 with Sharifa Daniels.